What you guys got another hardware review here for you. Going to take an overview of the MSI X99S Gaming 7 motherboard. Now, if you're going into buying a new motherboard and you want to go down the LGA 2011 version 3 socket for the CPU, then this board could be right up your street. It's a decent motherboard for gamers and it's also packed with loads of features. It's not cheap, but it is really a decent motherboard. So let's take a look at the back of the box and then we're going to look what's inside the box and then also take a look around the uh, motherboard itself as well. You've got audio boost here too uh, on there. You've also uh, got yourself uh, the Killer E2200 uh, Killer Nick on there. You've got your Sandblaster Cinema 2, multi GPU uh, capability, M.2 Gen 3 times 4 uh, SATA slot there, also USB audio power as well and you've also got the XSplit Gamecaster 6 months uh, free usage there, premium license. Let's take a look inside the box and we'll go through what you get. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit uh, but inside you've got the motherboard and then you've got your drivers, I advise you to get these off the website. You've got a little pamphlet here and also another pamphlet inside there. You've also got your stickers for your SATA cables, your software and applications user guide inside there. You've got your X99S Gaming 7 user guide and then you've got your door card uh, so don't bother you on gaming. You've got yourself a badge, sticky badge there and also you've got your audio connector. Uh, six SATA cables you get here as well and you've also got some uh, SLI flexi cables, an IO shield which is padded. We have our MSI M connections there. The motherboard size is 12 inches by 9.6 inches. Moving down to our connections we have our audio connection here, our uh, all direct audio power connector next to that and our system fan connection is right next to that. We also have a, a overclock genie which will automatically overclock when pressed. Um, also a power a button here and a reset button and a system panel connection is right next to that as well. Now moving right along the board here we have another a uh, couple of uh, USB connectors here. These are two USB 2.0 connections here. We have two of those ports in case you want to use them. We have a SATA 5 and 6 connection here as well. You can check the speeds in the user manual. Also a SATA Express connection right next to that which is 10 gigabits per second and another system fan connector right there. We also have a BIOS indicator uh, here as well. So you can see we have a load of pin layouts here. This is our front panel connection here. Also we've got our a dual BIOS uh, switch here and we also have our anti-theft jumper and our clear CMOS jumper and a few other bits and pieces there. You can check the user manual. Your PCH cooler there with the MSI logo. We've got eight more uh, SATA ports here, you can check the speeds on your user manual uh, but you've got also two USB 3.0 ports, the black one is the standard one right next to the SATA ports there as you can see and also along here we have another USB 3.0 this one is the supercharged version which allows you to charge up all your devices uh, in the computer if you plug them in, you've got your 24 pin power connector here which goes from the power supply to there. Also you've got your 8 slot uh, quad channel memory up to 128 gigabytes it can hold stock uh, clock rate is 2100 by 33 megahertz to 33 by 33 megahertz overclocked along there as well as you can see pretty decent. Now along here we have another system fan uh, connection and also the CPU uh, connection you can see there along that area and we also have our 8 pin uh, motherboard power connection there as well uh, just underneath that uh, heat sink there. Moving on to the IO connection area here we can see the PS2 red connection here this is a uh, preferred by gamers uh, USB 2.0 connections two of those reset the BIOS button there uh, 8 3.0 supercharged ports here ready for charging all your devices and using those as well the ethernet control there your killer nick and also your audio connections and your spiff connection is right there as well so pretty decent 7.1 audio on this one cinematic uh, also is on here 
So moving on to our audio area, this is an isolated part of the board which is for our audio, it's Audio Boost 2 and we also have our Creative uh, Cinematic Sound 2 here, we have our Golden Caps and we also have a power switch which allows us to go from onboard power to direct power by using this little switch here. So moving on to our uh, PCI Express lanes here, we have four PCI Express lanes at 3.0 times 16 slots and we also have uh, two point. Uh, 2.0 times 1 slots of 2 PCI Express here. We also have our Gen connection, Gen 3 connection there, the M.2 connection just above uh, near the CMOS battery right there as well. And that should take care of all your needs. Now I've just scratched the surface of this uh, motherboard so there's tons of other stuff on here. I can talk about it all day, there's tons of gear. But as you can see on the back of the board we've got this lovely black uh, paint. This is a, a particular type of black coating, I can't remember what it is. It also has MSI, Military Class 4 uh, components. But anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers, you can head over to our forums and post up over there. It's free to join and join up over there. You can put your video requests and ask all your questions over there. Other than that, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can head over there and join up over there. It's free to join. Just click on the uh, like button and that will give me, you become a fan of me on my Facebook page. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.